This morning, we are calling on you, Halloween lovers, <laughs> all you scary folks out there, <laughs> getting you in the spirit. We sure are. Spencer Thomas is live this morning in Fairfax, and she's bringing up some Halloween-inspired recipes. Hey, Spencer. She's not scary, though. Oh, we like her. Cute. <laughs> hello, hello. All right, check out my costume, guys. I'm pretty scary. I'm here with Laura Sorkin, and she's, she's the mouse today. I don't know what I am. Am I a pumpkin? Um, yes, you're a big, adorable pumpkin. I'm a big, adorable pumpkin. Well, thank you. And we're actually here at Runamuck Maple. And today, Laura is going to show us how we can incorporate maple into some recipes. So we have popcorn right here, Laura. What are we going to do with it? All right, so we're just going to make a basic maple popcorn. And I came up with this for a Halloween um, item, mostly because if you're sitting around the house doling out candy, you really want to lay off the candy. Okay. Yeah. So this is an alternative. It's still going to be sweet, a little bit salty, um, you know, nice addictive kind of thing that you can just keep grabbing for with. I was going to say, so when, uh, you know, the kids are outside, you're handing out candy, you can pop some of this in your mouth. Exactly. And get that sweet taste without all of that sugar. Right. People. So, so I've made a bunch of popcorn. Okay. Um, it's undressed. There's nothing on it right now. So we're going to put just a bit of warm butter. Okay. Here. And then this was roughly half a cup of popcorn. Okay. And what kind of maple is this? So this is our sugar maker's cut. And okay. this is our pure maple syrup. Um, we do barrel aged, infused, and smoked maple syrup. But for mm. this one, I find just the good old the sugar perfect maker's touch. Cut. Yeah. All yeah. right. So roughly half a cup. Um, you can do more depending upon your, your taste if you want more or less. All right. Um, you're going to stir that up together. So you just mix it with the butter and then you're going to drizzle it on. Exactly. So this goes on the top. And then ideally what you do okay. is mix it up and put it back in the oven. Oh, yes. nice touch. I yes. wouldn't have thought of that. So I put this back in the oven uh, for roughly five, ten minutes. All you're trying to do is crisp up the popcorn so it's not soggy at this point. Okay, got it. Um, and then you essentially have, have kettle corn. That's and of perfect. Course, last thing, definitely the salt. If you're going to do sweet and salty. Sweet and salty, people. Sweet, salty. You get a little bit of everything, right, Laura? A little bit of everything. So there you have it. And so how long do you put this in the oven? I would put that in the oven probably for about five, seven minutes. On what tech? 350, 375. All yeah. right. Lay it out on a tray so it's as flat as possible. Okay. And perfect. Then, yeah. And then back in the bowl and you have your... Uh, trick or treater. Run amok maple popcorn. I am not going to eat Reese's all night popcorn. I love it. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for having us here today. And thank you for showing us your run amok uh, maple popcorn. My and friend. so, coming up next, we're actually going to be making a spooky cocktail for you guys. So, stay tuned. I'm here with Laura Sorkin at Run Amok Maple. Back to you, Pollock, Sunny, and Megan. Yum. That looks awesome. Bring some back. Oh, please, don't forget. <laughs>